Step one for this amazing easy A is finally here. How's it everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. And many of you have been asking me, how do I go about easy a my LR all or nothing Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. So in this video, I'm gonna go over everything you need to do to complete step one of this guy's easy a. Now it's important to note that this guy's easy a has been released in several steps as part of the Dokkan um, quest mode renewal campaign. Um, they are going to piece out his easy a. So as of right now, you can only complete step one. And in order to complete step one, it's actually rather simple. You just need to go to the new area 28 of the Dokkan quest mode and complete the three stages and collect up these incredible gems here. Um, these brand new incredible gems from these stages. I would recommend using stage to grind now stage three does tend to drop more as there are question mark spots on stage three however on stage two um it actually is if you come over here one of the best places currently to level up your links with a point 106 link level rate there are three guaranteed fights in there is a good place to multitask right grind out incredible gems while also link leveling your character so if you got time and stamina to spend this is a good way to do it otherwise if you're pressed for time go down to level three there's one fight and a bunch of question marks that will get you not only those blue incredible gems but these skill orbs for your easy a um super saiyan god super saiyan vegeto these skill orbs here there's lots of good skill orbs you can get skill orbs combo attack and defense combo attack and um type attack evasion and combo attack critical hit right this is definitely obviously the one you want to shoot for but you just got to keep running the stage till the boss drops one of these so definitely a good thing to be doing while you grind out those blue incredible gems now you do need those blue incredible gems for the incredible gem shop you will exchange these blue gems for 10 of these super saiyan god super saiyan medals there are they cost 15 blue gems a piece so you'll need 150 gems to collect up the the necessary medals to complete step one like i said at this current moment you can only collect up enough medals to get step one out of the way which will simply raise his leader skill so if you're a free-to-play player this is a good thing to do simply because right if you don't have that many units this guy will be a nice buff as a leader for you giving you pretty much all of your super class characters up to a 120 percent lead if you didn't have something that high already i know as somebody who had first started out this was something i struggled with so this could be extremely helpful if you're a newer player that hasn't uh, awakened a whole bunch of characters just yet step two will be released uh probably within two to three weeks from now um i believe on jp the campaign lasted about a month and a half and then each step was sort of parted out about two weeks apiece so we should see the next step where we can gain up 15 medals uh for him here in the next couple of weeks along with step 20 or i'm sorry step three where we'll need 20 more medals um in two weeks to follow after that and we do have a pretty good idea as right when you look at the extreme challenge campaign we do know that this campaign if you scroll down here is running to the first so sometime between now and the first they're going to part out the other two steps so again you do want to make sure you go to those stages right the dokkan quest mode and you do want to go to stage two to grind out your incredible gems and your links this is definitely the best way to do it to multitask while you wait to easy a your character now if you're someone who hasn't fully easy aid or fully awakened rather your super saiyan god super saiyan vegeto you still need potara medals you still need all of that stuff right um, they have actually increased the number of Vegitos you can purchase, right? As well as made, if I can scroll down here, Potara medals are now 
unlimited. I know it hasn't updated here, but they are now unlimited in the Baba shop. They are slightly more expensive than the 70 you need, but if you wanted to save yourself some Kai's, um, you could purchase one more copy of the Vegito here using Incredible Gems, and then purchase all the Batara medals you need to SA-10 and SA-25 um, your Vegito once he's ready to be fully awakened. The best place to get up these Incredible Gems to do that, if you're somebody who hasn't done that already, I found is two stages, both of them on stage 23. Um, I find that stage 23-4 contact tends to be a good place to link level and pick up those incredible gems as the peel off and launch um, which drop extra gems on these stages tend to appear quite often on the z on the super difficulty stage as well in stage 23 um 23 8 fighting runs in the family is another good stage this stage has lots of cybermen fight which is also good for link leveling um although you tend to have to give up the cybermen in order to chase the uh, launch or Emperor Pilaf when they show up for the incredible gems, right? Each one of them net in you the Pilaf nets you 10 incredible gems while the launch does net you um, 15 for beating her. So definitely a good way to pick up those incredible gems and get the extra SA25 or S extra SA10 if you haven't full aw fully awakened your Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito yet. Um, so really that's about all you can do as of this moment for step one of this guy's EZA. Remember step one is just going to increase his leader skill and his SA to 22. So um, before we go, I do want to remind you what this guy does. He is, um, Once we fully EZA him by the end of the campaign, he will be a super class key four and HP attack and defense 120%. On his 12 key, he will be raising attack and defense infinitely, which means he's getting all the more powerful, which is really good for a free to play unit, right? Um, he can cause colossal damage and lower the enemy's attack. On his ultra super attack, he is raising attack and defense for one turn and causing mega colossal damage. He is attack and defense 100% on his passive, plus an additional attack and defense 10% with each attack performed up to 50%. Raises key by up to 10 with uh, less HP remaining, the greater the key boost. He has a medium chance of key 5 and he launches an additional attack with a high chance of becoming a super attack when performing his ultra super. He gets key 2 and disables enemy guard when there is another future socket category ally attacking in the same turn. This guy is a huge Huge, huge free to play benefit to the Vegeta and Trunks team when that unit f does finally come out because he is um, getting the buff from being on Future Saga, which is part of their leader skill, but also because he is a unit that can greatly raise attack and defense, um, or and infinitely raise for that matter on his 12 key. So, always good to have good stackers, and he is definitely a good stacker. So, anyways, guys, that's the video. There isn't much um, that we can do with this new set of stages except to grind out those gems and get yourself ready for when the final Easy A step comes towards the end of this extreme z campaign please don't forget to do everything as you do get yourself a whole bunch of stones just for simply awakening this guy so there's absolutely no reason not to go out of your way to do this um especially while we're waiting for the gammas to drop here on global so anyways guys that's the video if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know have you already finished your vegeto have you grinded out the gems what do you think of this new link leveling stage with 282 has it been working out for you would love to hear your guys thoughts in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha